Do I even have a knife to open them up yet? Come on, how did I forget that? Okay, so this is gonna be another different video. This is gonna be about my coin collection, my Canadian money collection. Recently I've been getting back into it again and because I for some reason realized you can buy a lot of stuff off of eBay, which everybody knows about, but for some reason I didn't ever think to do that. I started collecting coins when I was in grade six when like the Vancouver 2010 Olympics came out and they released all the quarters with all the sports people on them. That's not the way to say it. So this basically all started when I was looking for more Canadian tire money for my videos. As you can tell, if you've watched any of my videos, I use Canadian tire money a lot in it. In Canadian tire money. Bam, bet you weren't expecting that. So that is why I'm retiring. And I have like, I got quite a bit of it. You know, these, this is actually, this is full Canadian tire money. Obviously it's not all 25 cents. You know, it's a little bit of a lie, I'm sorry, but I wanted to have some higher denominations because in Canadian tire money, it goes all the way up to a $2 bill. And I only had up to 25 cent bills. So, you know, I ended up buying some 50 cent bills and some $1 bills, but you didn't realize you're gonna get flexed on with Canadian tire money, I'm sorry. So I started going on eBay and basically buying up any Canadian tire listing that wasn't like ridiculously expensive, so. I spent like, I probably spent like in the last like couple months, like probably like a hundred dollars on Canadian tire money, which is kind of weird. So then I started buying actual Canadian money off of there too. And then I'm fully back into collecting money again. Canadian tire money is so deeply ingrained in Canadian culture that like even on eBay, you search it up, you're searching up for Canadian money and you get Canadian tire money, which I think is pretty funny. So I've ordered a bunch of Canadian tire money and a bunch of other old Canadian bills. So let's start opening up some of these packages. So first we're gonna start off with this one here. I'm gonna delicately open this with scissors, but without like, can you just imagine I just cut it and I just cut through all the bills? That would just suck. Oh, this is this is the legit stuff. I just got a glimpse of it. This is the Canadian money I ordered. So let's take it out. This is some of the old Canadian money we used to have. This is what Canadian money used to look like in the 80s. And then we got a hundred dollar bill from the eight from the 90s. So now we're gonna open up this package, see if this is some other stuff in here. This could be the Canadian tire money package. I'm trying to do this without showing my address so you guys don't come and steal all this from me. Fragile. Okay, so let's open this up. Oh, there's another envelope inside. It gets better and better. Okay, and here we go. And here's the wads of Canadian tire money I bought. Just a nice fat wad of Canadian tire money. That's how you have to describe Canadian tire money. It comes in wads. I don't know. I don't know. I'm making it up as I go along. In theory, so I, oh. So it smells like somebody else's house. You know when you order stuff and it like smells like other people's houses and it's kind of weird? Like that is what I'm getting right now. So there should be nine $1 bills in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A bunch more 50 cent bills, you know, and then some fives, tens, and 25 cents. So yeah, that was, that was pretty good. And since I'm way too lazy to use my own eBay account, this is all bought on my brother's eBay account. So this package either contains my brother's thermal paste or some coins I ordered. So. Let's open it up. Let's open it up anyways. He won't care. He won't care. Opening up other people's mail, that's definitely not illegal or anything. It's actually neither of those. It's actually like a hard drive tray or something like that. Okay, well there you go. Probably not gonna put that in the video. Not that interesting. He'll get that a little bit later on. So now we've got some Amazon packages to open up, but these aren't that exciting because they're just full of the sleeves you put the bills in. So yeah, anyways, so we got that. So we're gonna start. My floor is on an angle, so if I sit in my chair, I slowly like slope this way a little bit, which is kind of annoying. In 2017, Canada released this special edition $10 bill celebrating Canada 150. And so I have a bunch of these, but I don't have them in any special sleeves. So that's what we're gonna be doing first. We're gonna load them in there. Well, that's what we're dealing with. Flip them over, you got some, you got some famous peoples on the back. This is kind of like what people do with Pokemon cards, but but for money, stuff that's actually valuable. <laughs> Just joking, <laughs> these are way less valuable than Pokemon cards. Then a year later in 2018, Canada released these Viola Desmond, like vertical $10 bills, which are very cool. The $10 bills, I really like them because they're purple. I really like the color purple. And as you can tell, Canadian money often gets made fun of because it's like Monopoly money because it's colorful. But I think I like it being colorful. If it was like American money where everything that same kind of greeny gray color, I wouldn't like it. Perfect. These aren't going anywhere now. These are so, these are being protected for life. These bills, I just went to the bank and I was like, hey, can I have some of them vertical bills? And they were like, sure. But if you like go to try to buy these on eBay right now, they're like 15 bucks each. So now let's move over to my pride and joy, my favorite bill in my collection, the Canadian Tire 150 note. Look at this guy. This, this guy is so cool. I should have gotten more of these because for some reason these sell for like quite a bit on eBay as well. At the time, like the cashier was like, how many of these do you want? And I was like, I'll just take two and then gave one to my brother. 
So yeah, I should have asked for like 20. And then I could have made a couple hundred bucks selling them on eBay. Now we're gonna have a look at the last issued Canadian money before we went to plastic. So here we go. So I got a nice $5 bill here, nice and crisp. With the little guys, with some guys playing hockey on the back. Isn't that super Canadian? I've kept this in an envelope and a binder for like such a long time and I keep on getting worried that I'm gonna like crumple it up. Pretty good condition this guy's in. Like the, the corners are like super precise. So I'm really happy. I'm so happy I'm getting to do this. I know you probably don't really care, but you're having to watch. I'm bringing you along on this journey, whether you like it or not. Now we got a $10 bill. This is what the $10 bills used to look like before they turned into plastic pieces of garbage. I have no idea if this is focusing at all when I show this. Now, what comes after 10? Of course, it's the 20, which is actually pretty cool. This one's quite nice. And on the back, it has like an indigenous sculpture that you can find in YVR airport if you ever go there. Not that you can ever go there anymore now because traveling is like basically illegal nowadays. There we go, nice and protected now as well. Is so you gonna focus on that? Focus, is that focused? I don't know. So now let's get out our 50. These are actually worth quite a bit now. Like these are on eBay for like 85 bucks. So solid profit if you kept, if you were somebody who was smart enough to keep a bunch of these before they were taken out of circulation, like you made, you made a good decision. So we're gonna load him up into the plastic too. I don't know if this is entertaining at all, but I'm having a fun time, so you better as well. I'll be disappointed if you're not having a good time. And then you'd go on to the 100, but unfortunately, I didn't get the 100, so I'm still looking for one of those on eBay yet. So Canada, in its history, has had five series of banknotes. The first series, called the first series, which is very creative. Then you got the bilingual series, when they had to put everything in French as well. After the bilingual series, in 1954, they had the Canadian landscape series. And then after that, then there's the Scenes of Canada series, which is from 1969 to 1979. And then in 1986, there was the Birds of Canada series. And then from 2001 to 2006 is the Canada Journey series. And then from 2011 onwards, the Frontier series. So I'm trying to work my way back and collect all of them. It's gonna be very difficult the further down I get because obviously they get way more expensive and it's hard to find ones in really good condition too. So these were all from the Canada Journey series. So now we're gonna take a step back and we're gonna work on the Birds of Canada series. So interestingly enough, in this series, Canada had a $2 bill. We don't have $2 bills anymore. In what was it, 1996, Canada brought out the Toonie. I got so much, my desk is so messy. I got so much money on my desk. First world problems. I don't know if that's the proper way to do it. I've just seen Max Mofo Pokemon do that. Yeah. So this being the Birds of Canada series, on the back of this bill, there is some Robins. Look at that. That's pretty neat. Since Canada hasn't been around for that long, they put well-known Canadian figures on them and then when they'd run out of people, they just put the queen on it, basically. If you do happen to have any of these $2 bills laying around in your house, you should check it out because there's a certain serial code or number that if you get it, this thing is worth like a huge amount of money. So the next one after that was a $5 bill. Nice little fiver, little fiver guyver, fiver MacGyver, I don't know why I'm saying that. On the back of it, there is a Kingfisher chilling out in the wherever the heck he is. I don't know what he's doing. And now, of course, if you've been following along, what comes next after five? Hey! Ah, ah, ah. So I also have one of those. I also got a ten, a tenny boy. So the bird on the back of this one is an osprey. Don't really know much about them. Now you're probably thinking, chuck on the 20, Sam, get on the 20. Well, unfortunately, I don't have the $20 bill of that one either. And I don't have the 50 of that set either. So I'm both, I'm trying to get both of those still. We're just gonna have to jump right ahead to the 100. We got Mr. 100 over here. I hate it when people say that, I'm sorry, it's 100. The back of this bill has a Canada goose on it. They're not Canadian geese, like the species of it is Canada goose. So for all of those of you who are like, oh, look, it's a Canadian geese. It's not a Canadian geese, don't call it that. Boy. That escalated quickly. I don't know why he's flying away from his buddies. Like, look at that, he's just by himself. It's a lone goose. So that was the 1986 Birds of Canada series. There is also a $1,000 bill of that series too. And if you haven't have one of those, don't take it to the bank because they're worth about $1,500. I have a friend who works at the bank and so many people keep on taking them to the bank to get a thousand bucks for them. So don't ever do that. If you have old money, don't take it to the bank to get like the face value of it. Sell it on eBay, you make so much more money. So now we're gonna move back in time to the Scenes of Canada series from 1969 to 1979. So what bill do you think I'm gonna be starting off with? A $2 bill, a $5 bill, a $1 bill. What do you think? What are we gonna be starting off with in this series? Well, if you guessed $1 bill, you're correct. In back in those days, Canada had a $1 bill. On the back of it, there is some logging going on as Canada's known for logging. 
That means the next bill is a $2 bill. Look at that little one. This is nice and red. Gonna put it in some plastic again. This is getting really repetitive. I'm gonna have to cut out a lot of stuff. And then on the back, it looks like there's some indigenous people hunting. I don't know what they're hunting. Probably some seals or something like that. That's usually what they hunt. So then we got the $5 bill here. Why is my hand shaking? So then on the back of this $5 bill, there's some fishing going on. Some poor fishies are getting killed. This is like the boat in like Finding Nemo when they're like all in the net and they're like, swim down, swim down. And then they like break the boat or something like that. And they're all saved. So we got our nice $10 bill here with definitely not racist John A. McDonald on here. I'm joking. And on the back of it, it looks like, what is that? They're like factory or something like that? Maybe it's like a maple syrup factory. I don't know. No, this, this 20 is in really good condition. Like this is a nice looking 20. So on the back of this one, there's a really nice view of some mountains and a lake or something like that. I'll write what it's supposed to be so you guys can have an idea of it. So there is a 50 and a hundred for that set, but I don't have any of those left. So now if we go to the 1954 Landscapes of Canada series, I only have one bill from that and that's the $1 bill. And it's the special 1867 to 1967 version. So this guy's pretty old, 1967. But I'm trying to get more for this series too, but as I was saying that they are quite a bit more expensive and I'm not super rich at the moment. Hopefully this YouTube thing will take off and I'll be like really rich soon, but I don't know. So then on the back, there's a picture of Canada's first parliament building right there. I also have a $2 Canadian tire money bill here. These are actually pretty rare and hard to find off of eBay as well. Like these things sell for quite a lot of money. Like I got this one, I spent 10 bucks on this, but there are so many other ones on eBay for like 40 bucks, $90. So like they're quite expensive for some reason. I don't think there's very many of them left. This guy, I'm definitely gonna be putting in some hard plastic. That was basically a lot of work. I'm very tired now. I'm gonna go have to have a rest. I'm pretty tired. So we're gonna end the video here. I am waiting on some toonies to arrive from eBay. And when they do arrive, I can maybe make a video about my collection of toonies if you guys are interested. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and please subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions or anything about this. Bye.